and the heavy snowfall had ensured that snowbanks lined the roads. For early flyer Richard Burns, though, they would prove to be his undoing. Come on. The Englishman would lose over 13 minutes digging his car out of the snowbank. The back door. Come on. Colin McRae, too, was caught out by the tricky conditions. Once back on the road, the enraged McRae went on to win seven stages. Despite this, though, he would only finish ninth overall. McRae's Ford teammate Carlos Sainz led the field going into leg two, aiming to become the first non-Scandinavian to win this highly specialised rally. Running first on the road, though, proved a challenge too far, even for the legendary Spaniard. Two incidents on the treacherous surface saw El Matador drop back. Harry Rovampera on his first event for Peugeot was becoming the revelation of the event. He restored Nordic pride by overcoming early brake problems and took over the lead on the second afternoon. It was still a keenly fought contest, however, with only the five stages of day three remaining. Four-time world champion Tommy Mackinnon was just 7.3 seconds behind his compatriot. Another fresh snowfall meant difficult conditions for the final leg, but it would not hold back Rovan Perra. The Finn was on course for his first ever World Rally victory and began to pull away, despite running first on the road. Mackinnon would make a last-ditch dash for glory on the final stage, but his challenge ended in spectacular fashion. Mackinnon's quest for his fourth Swedish rally win would come to an end with the finish in sight. Allowing Rovampera to claim his maiden and to date only victory by nearly 30 seconds. Oh, no,